do 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 Bum 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 <sighs> Alright Start us a new game here A uh, new game please, yes Which reminds me, I need to go ahead and pull up the, uh... Boss fights and the levels right here. Okay, so Mirror B. Wow, so those Pokemon are actually. It's High Pokemon Pseudo Widow, so technically that's what I can play at. But how do I want to do it? Do I want to do it the highest actual Pokemon? Yeah, because later on the Shadow Pokemon get lower, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. But we can't go over level 35. Pretty straightforward. So, basically the rules of this uh, playthrough, it's Pokemon Coliseum, but it's going to be a hardcore Nuzlocke. I, I guess I guess it wouldn't be hardcore, but anyway. So basically, the rules are kind of like the standard Nuzlocke's. Um, there's no Pokemon Claws, because I mean, Shadow Pokemon is the only one you can catch. So that's what, that's our only encounters. Obviously. Um, so if your Pokemon faints, you have to box it permanently because it is no more. Um, let's see. No items in battle. Um, there's no potions. Uh, no you know full heals, all that junk. You can only use them outside of battle. And you can use held items and Pokeballs, of course. You can always use those. Um, let's see. I have put in the game um, full restores, like for me to have in my person. That way, I just don't have to go back to the Pokemon centers constantly. Um, I have rare candies, so just to limit any grinding that I would have to do between boss fights and time flutes. So this is going to be different. Since the goal of the game is to beat the game without fainting, I'm going to bypass technically the shadow aspect of the game and purify them as soon as I can, which, I mean, technically I have to get through the first little portion of the game before I can do that, so I will have a boss fight before then. Um, but yeah, so basically I have to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, once I, I'll be able to purify every shadow Pokemon pretty much instantaneously. So, I mean, it, it just... To put more focus on the actual battles and getting through the game without fainting, like without losing your whole team, that's that's the goal. Oh, he went through his legs right there. That was pretty cool. Okay, so 35 is the cap, which is good. So I doubt we'll hit that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. We'll start with Espeon and Umbreon. I'm gonna check their after this battle right here. I'm gonna check their natures and stuff. See what we got. I know Espeon has synchronized and Umbreon has synchronized. They both have synchronized in this game. I wish they had inner focus. But they don't.
Hmm. So. Alright, but we're gonna use the PS1. Oh, I can't hit start yet? Okay. I must not be able to do start yet. Okay. Alright, so we're going to Phoenix City. Um, we don't, we do have a battle right away, it's the guys, <laughs> or one of these grunts. Uh, yeah, Whismers, I think is what he's got. But yeah, so we're basically, I'm not going to use any rare candies at the moment. Um, I'm only going to do it when I get to a point where I feel like there'd be grinding involved. Because I also have to stay below, oh, and I don't think I mentioned this, I have to stay below the level of the boss fight's strongest Pokemon. So, like, every boss fight you have is, like, Mirror B, the guy on the Mount Battle, the girl in the undergrounds, you know, etc., etc. All those boss fights, I have to keep my Pokemon even with the level of their strongest Pokemon. And in this case, Mirror B's strongest Pokemon is a Shadow Pseudo Widow. At level 35. So, until we get to that point, our Pokemon cannot exceed level 35. And ideally, well, when we get there, if we're not at that point, I'm going to level everybody up to 35. And yes, it, it's going to seem a little bit easy in this first Mirror B battle, because his Shadow Pokemon is stronger than everybody else's. Um, but, like the next boss fight, it's going to even out. Because all of the Pokemon are going to catch up. So like by the second boss fight on map battle, their Pokemon are going to be like right with ours. So it'll, it'll be more a little more competitive. But I'm thinking Mirror B should be pretty easy considering he does have two Lombres and two Ludicolos or something. But we will have Shadow Pokemon in that game. I mean that battle. We won't be able to uh, purify anything that I know of. Just for yawning, it's a little, a little late. Oh, do the knot. Phew, I'm safe. I saved you, my fair lass. New name. We're gonna name her after my beautiful fiance. I had a GameCube controller. Hooked up. That worked. I get much more in the moment. <clears throat> much more nostal nostalgic. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead to the Pokemon Center and get our stuff that we can use at the moment. Hopefully the. Uh, Everything worked properly. If not, I may have to log out and make sure to try to get up uploaded, but it should work. Alright, go ahead and heal. I still need to check Umbra and Espeon's stuff, but. Let me get the items out for now. There we go. Okay. So, I don't, 30 Tom Flutes is going to be just plenty. We actually can't hold none. Like, 999 of this. So, I'm just going to grab 100. To start out with. And again, this is only to make the game not as tedious to watch with grinding and stuff. That's the only purpose of that. I don't feel like grinding because I've played this game a million times and 
Anybody who's watching this probably don't want to watch me battle the arena a thousand times to get instinct for the battle, so. Yeah. Um, I also need to decide coming up which starter Pokemon I want. Do I want Croconaw, Quilava, or uh, Bayleaf? Um, depending on what Pokemon are coming up. Or what will be more beneficial later on in the game. I need to look at the Shadow Pokemon available. Um, I think I'm going to do that. Um, I'm just looking through them real quick. Okay, I'll pull it over here so y'all can see it. Uh, so we have Makuhita, we'll get him, Bayleaf. Bailey does get synthesis. It's sunny day. Got Quilava. Um, Croconaw. So Slugma's another fire type. I'm just going through how many fire types we get. We do get an Entei. I mean, and of course, granted, we have to catch them too. Like, that's also part of the challenge, is catching them. Because if we don't, that's one less encounter we have. So you get Houndoom later on. Yeah, so you literally, like, you get three fire types? Three or four? Oh, water types. You get a Quacksire later, Remoraid, which Octillery, Mantine, Quillfish. Okay, we're not getting Croconaw. What about Bayleaf? So you do a you skip plume, so you can get a Jump Pluff. Um, Sunflora. And Tropius. Wow, that's kind of minuscule too, you know? I feel like Bayleaf is going to be better for Mirror B. You know? I'm actually I'm actually going to get Bayleaf, I think. And I think Razorleaf hits both opponents. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get Bayleaf, too. So we could have a Hariyama, a Meganium. Well, Hariyama's really good and heavy hitter. Doesn't have the best defenses, but he's got a really good attack. Pretty good HP stat. Spoiler alert. The mayor is the villain. I gotta figure out how to do my, uh, what is, oh, it's C, okay, I was trying to figure out what the start menu was, okay, Umbreon is mild nature, that's, uh, that's not neutral, is it, it's like, uh, I can't remember, well, they have both pretty shit natures, they might be neutral, both of them, they might be set that way, I don't know. He had an item, didn't he? No? I'm so confused. Alright. So where did he say to go? I was not paying attention in the slightest. Okay, I guess we'll do one of these pre-gym battles real quick. Okay, I guess we got the grass types. Let's see what we got. Sun Kern and Hop up, okay. I doubt this will be too challenging.
Okay, uh, um, let's go for... Take out the sun kern first. Nice. Both of these Pokemon are relatively weak, and Umbreon and Espeon are pretty strong for this stage. This won't KO, but come close. Alright, Tail Whip. That's just. That was expected. I bet I could KO with Return here. How long do I have to wait to pick up my Pokemon? I think I can do it after Pirate Town, right? I don't feel like doing that. I don't remember where I was supposed to be going, to be honest. Let's go up here to the stadium. Oh, there we go. Had to trigger something, I knew it. I'm a snagger. Bring it on, snag em. Team snag em. Bring it. Poor fish and coughing. Okay, coughing should be an easy one shot, I think. I'm trying to think of what's. Coughing has good physical bulk, not special bulk. So, yeah, a good confusion. I think it should KO from this range. And then we'll just go for a bite on Core Fish. Do some damage. Warfish might go for Vice Grip. Bubble. Yeah. They hit both or just one? Does nothing. It hits both. And that's the thing about uh, Gen 3 is the moves physical and special split is based off of typing and not off of the noodle moves itself so like in this generation bite is special because it's dark but in gen gen 4 when it switches i think it's gen 4 bite would be a physical move technically Yeah, I think Gen 3 is the last gen where it was based off of typing. I might be wrong. Go shopping for some Pokeballs? Say less. Hey, less, lady. I would like to buy some of your oh, Pokeballs. You ain't got no Pokeballs.
And that's the only thing about this game, especially early on, is I can do a lot of running around. I'm actually going to go in here and go ahead and save my game. Just, just in case of a crash or something. Another thing I don't like about this game is you have to save at these PCs. Great, thank you. Okay, head back to the outskirts, outskirt stand. Get the Pokeballs, then I think we go back to the mayor's office and catch that Makahita. And then we get to catch the bay leaf. And go to... Uh, I don't know. Gee, thanks for the Pokeballs. Awesome. Grazie. All right, heading back to Phoenix City. This is Phoenix. Is it Phoenix? Finnick. I think it might be Finnick City. I've been saying it wrong. It's Finnick. Uh oh. Head to the mayor's office. Oh, it's Mirror B. That's awesome. Mirror B is like one of my favorite Pokemon antagonists. I think it's Pyrite Town too, isn't it? I love how he walks. Hilarious. All right, we need to get the green one. Cause I was gonna have the bay leaf. All right, I'm gonna catch your Makita. Okay, we just have to be careful this time that we don't faint to Makita while trying to catch it. And that's something we're gonna be juggling uh, in this game is at what point do we have to scrap a, a snag? Lotad actually has decent special defense, this line. Actually doesn't affect either one of our Pokemon right now. Okay, so when Makahita comes out, obviously I do not want to uh, confusion him. I'm going to set up a Reflect with Espeon, and I'm going to go for Secret Power on him to see if I can get a Paralysis. I think Secret Power has a chance to par uh, Paralyze. Oh, this isn't the Makahita guy. Oh, okay, it must be the other kid. Been a while. Ooh. Is he sending his Makahita out first? No. Okay. Dust Skull and Spinarak, so I'm just gonna bite the Dust Skull and. Uh. Fusion the spinner act. 
Double KO would be nice, but I don't know if I'm around with KO as Death Skull. Death Skull's defenses are not bad. Okay, there's the Makahita. Let's bite. Flinch, come on, flinch. Nice shade. Uh, that's tough. Ooh, that's actually not good at all. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna set up reflect here. It's actually nice to know that they switch in in the middle of the turn. Oh, come on, reflect. Hold up for me. Uh, that's not good. I just have to start throwing great balls. Because if we lose Espeon, that's, that's actually trash. Come on. Actually, I think I read somewhere that that's always an instant catch. I don't know, but thank God. But that's a prime example of how you could lose a Pokemon in this game because it's actually challenging. Because the level disparity, if you don't grind, I mean, obviously you can't grind this early, but like later on, if you don't grind at all, then you're going to be way under leveled. I'm actually curious if I can use the time flute. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some rare candy here. Every time he's full restores. Oh, here's the green one. Yeah, we're gonna go right for him. I think I may have mentioned I wasn't gonna use rare candy this early, but yeah, that was just a lie. I felt the need, so I did it. So Grimer does have decent special defense, but I still think a confusion should KO. So I'm gonna go for secret power on Bayleaf. And Bayleaf is actually a really good grass type for this game. I feel like it's really bulky. It's got Razor Leaf spread damage, it's got synthesis, so it's got healing. It's just a really bulky mon. And I wonder if I can teach us uh, some screens, like light screen. Like it'd just be a really good Pokemon to use, honestly. Ouch. Okay. At least now we have Makahita, so we can definitely switch in. Paralysis? No. Okay, that was a crit too. So I'm gonna set up a reflect. Could have also went for Helping Hand Bite, but he's a synthesis. That's perfect. That's great. That doesn't matter at all. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have Helping Hand. I probably would have KO'd Spoink. You just Torment? Was that you can't use the same move twice? Yeah. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna go for Secret Power on Bayleaf again, and we're gonna go for Return on Spoink. Okay, so obviously I'm doing, I think, what did it do? 20 damage to Espeon, so it should do 10? 
ground. Let's level up, nice. Here's Razor Leaf. Let's see if it hits both. That's a special move in this game. 8 damage to Umbreon, 12 damage to Espeon. I might switch Espeon out here soon. Oh, Secret Power lowers accuracy. It doesn't lower. Interesting. I'm going to taunt Bayleaf and I'm going to switch out into Makahita, I think. Nice. Okay, so there's the taunt. So now I'm going to secret power again. I'm going to go for an item. Let's do, a, let's do a premiere ball. I feel like bay leaf in a premiere ball would be really cute. What do you think? Come on, catch. Come on, catch. Come on, catch. Dang. Ouch. That did a surprising amount of damage. Even through Reflect. Alright, we're going for Great Ball. A little bit more oomph on this one, come on. Come on. One. Two. Three. Let's go! We got Bayleaf. That's awesome. That's a great catch. That's really, really good. Yeah, this is way faster than running to a PC or to a Pokemon Center. Just do that and move on. All right, so that's pretty good. Okay, well, I guess we go to the construction line. Why are we going here? Confused. Oh, there'd be a Colosseum, get it? Pokemon Colosseum. I don't understand why we had to visit that place just to go this way, but whatever. Now, this entire place is a vibe right here. This entire building. It's just a really, really nice vibe. So we can actually get some pretty good Pokemon in this area. Uh, you can get Flaffy, really good electric type, uh, Quacksire, Mistrevis, Slugma, Flaffy, I mean, a uh, Furret, and there's one I miss, Rimmeraid? No, Rimmeraid's not there. I'm trying to think of who else, but there's, I know there's another good one. The shop. Where's the... There's a PC in one of these. I think it's this one. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. I think we do actually get a plus or two from the guy here at some point. 
Which, I mean, isn't really that great of a thing, but it's something. They just turn themselves in hilarious. Are you a battle? Oh. That girl's flirting with flirting with your boy. Mm. All right, Zubat and Gulpin. What's more dangerous here? Because Espeon's gonna one-shot any whatever. I feel like Esp mm, I feel like hitting the uh, Gulpin might be better. I feel like Zubat's just gonna go for Super Sonic or something. I guess it could go for Bite, maybe, or Leech Life, but I feel like it's going to go for like Super Sonic or Confuse Ray or some mess. Oh, we got the Taunt off. That's good. What does Zubat go for? Gust. Okay. Physical move. Doesn't do much. Now we'll just KO with Confusion. Alright, so this trainer didn't have a Shadow Pokemon, so the battle's kind of pointless, but... I actually like Zubat Sprite right there. I didn't mind that at all. Thought it was kind of cool looking. Do do. Do 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 do. All right. Uh, this guy has the Mistrevis, I believe. Yeah, there it is. I'm gonna go for a bite on Mr. Revis, uh, because I could possibly flinch and it's gonna do good damage. It, sh it won't KO. And I'll go for Confusion on Zigzagoon. But uh, Mr. Revis is actually a really good Pokemon to use. It's a, I think it may be the only ghost type encounter there is. I'm gonna check on that, but I'm pretty sure it might be the only ghost type. Didn't care the zigzag. Shadow Ball. Oh, and uh. No, 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 no. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just had a heart attack. Oh my god, could you imagine if we lost Umbreon like that? Oh my god, I would cry. I would legitimately cry. Okay, so I'm actually going to go for... I'm going to go for a, a, a Great Ball on uh, Mr. Rivis here. And I'm going to switch out into Bayleaf. Oh my god, I cannot believe we almost lost Espeon. That would have been a dagger. One. Damn it. Probably gonna go into the Espeon slot. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
I feel like I gotta go for another one right here. Oh, I don't want to lose Mysterious because, like I said, it's got Levitate and it's the only ghost type encounter. It's really good. Let's go! We got Mischievous. Let's fucking go. Alright, thank god we didn't fucking lose Espeon either. Okay. I'm gonna swap out Bayleaf here for Makahita. Just to be on the safe side. Me a flinch. Oh, grab. Not bad. Nice. All right. Still deathless. That's what we want to see. That was a close one. I know what the thumbnail is going to be for the YouTube video. So Mr. Viss and Bayleaf actually do have items. They might be stat boosting items, but let's see what they are. Yeah, Miracle Seed. Yeah, and Spell Tag. I'll hold on to them. I mean, they're not going to use them right now anyway. Alright. So, yeah. It's actually nice, though, that they come with stat-boosting items. That's why that mischievous freaking Shadow Tag hits... I mean, Shadow Ball hits so hard. I mean, I know it's super effective. And it's Stab, and it's Defense Typing in this game. Steel. That was a little ridiculous. Wait, is Noctowl the... I think it's Noctowl, isn't it? Yeah, 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 it is. Okay. Um. What's the best method here? I think Confusion on Noctowl is the best. I did nothing. Jesus Christ. Oh, we got confusion. Nice. Come on. Oh, he set up reflect. Okay. These these battles are actually really intense in this game. Like even this early. Nice, we missed. That's excellent. Um. I guess I'll go for secret power here on the Noctowl. We'll KO the uh, Espeon, uh, Ladybot here. Oh, it didn't even KO? Damn, okay. Ladybot's thick. They always attack Espeon because it does more damage. Oh, they didn't, okay. Please hit Umbreon every time. That's great. <laughs> Lower accurate. Oh my god. That was almost a... Hmm. Noctowl's actually pretty bulky right now. This early in the game. It's bulky in general, but like, especially this early. I don't even know why I bought Pokeballs. I'm just gonna throw Great Balls. I have them. Come on. One, two, ah, oh, okay. Couldn't get the second. Okay. I need knocked out a snap out of confusion. It's a wing goal, okay. Yes, okay. 
Okay, he's just spamming Reflect like an idiot. Alright, that's great. I'm actually going to double down on Wingull here. Just go for the KO. I just, I just lost. I just lost the game. I mean, not lost the game, but I just killed Noctow. That sucks. I mean, I know we can go back and catch him later, but I really wanted him now. For the bulk. Yeah, we're gonna, this bite's gonna knock him out, even through Reflect. He's done. Oh, it's special. <gasps> He's still alive! We have one more shot. We've got one more shot at this. Oh my god, the Pokemon gods are smiling down on me right now. These past two battles. Come on. Come on. One. Two. Three. Yes! Let's go! We're three for three on Shadow Pokemon. Nope. I'm a, that's a lie. We're four for four. Yes! I'm talking about. Oh my god. I can't see natures and stuff yet, I don't think. With the Pokemon. Yeah. Alright, next up. She may have the Flaffy. Remember, I think Shroomish is part poison. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna go for. We're gonna double up on Shroomish here. It's not okay. I didn't, I didn't think so. But. So Cotton Spore lowers speed. Right? Yeah. Okay. So. Shroomish is down. And the good thing is Flappy's attack stat is not very good. So Shadow Rush won't be doing a lot. Oh, that's all. Oh, okay. That's all he's got. I'm going to bite and reflect here. Does have T Wave. Fun fact in Gen 3, I mean, all the way through Gen 5, you can. Oh, he's synchronized. That's great. Uh, but fun fact, you can paralyze electric types in this generation. I think it's all the way through Gen 5. All right, let's go, Flappy. We want you in this premiere ball, little girl. Little, little boy, technically. One. They don't want to stay in those premiere balls. The thunder shock. Fourteen damage. Might as well use some Pokeballs. Keep throwing them.
Snag balls take priority over switching as well. I didn't do a whole lot with reflect. That's good. We'll throw the Great Ball. Why just sell the Pokeballs and just buy Great Balls? Got us a Flaffy. It was into the PC. I'm actually gonna go grab it, I think, for Makahita. Just because it's bulkier and I can use it as a pivot. better if I go ahead and heal too. Like to sell. I'll never well I mean I guess I'd say never get to use those. I can keep those. Ten of those, buddy. I do need to. Oh, I can't. I don't sell them here. What is this crock of crap? Ridiculous. All right, let's head here. Let's swap out Makahita. We'll save. Let's see, Pokeballs, well, Great Balls are $600, we have 6000 so we can get 10 of them. Get 10 more Great Balls. Doo -doo -doo. You know, I'm kind of, I'm dumb. I can just sell. I can technically sell some rare candies. Shouldn't be out here struggling for cash, you know what I'm saying? smarter not harder right alrighty let's head over here we got three more trainers two more we got two more yeah two more one of them's got the skip plume and one's got the slugma Here's the skip plume. So confusion the Oddish and fight the skip plume. That's the plan. That be the plan. Get 
confusion should KO Oddish here. Dustox. Dustox is what? Poison bug? Right? Yeah, it's poison bug. Oh. Is it poison fly? No, 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 it's not flying type, is it? Is it? No, it is flying. It's poison flying or something. I don't remember. It's poison. It's poison something. Alright, so I'm gonna go for another bite here. And confusion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just double up on dust stocks, because I don't think confusion will KO. Nice, we missed. Umbreon's actually faster than Espeon. Nice. Alright, that double up was probably necessary. Okay, so one more bite. And I'll go for Reflect here. So he does hit the Sleep Powder. Fun thing about this game is you can actually call your Pokemon and they will wake up from asleep. From being asleep. So here I'm actually going to call Umbreon and throw a Grey Ball. Let's go. I didn't. I didn't get to call Umbreon. <laughs> oh well. That was an easier one. Jumpluff's pretty fast grass type, but we have Meganium, so I don't know if we'll use her. But it's always nice to have more grass types in your on your team. Okay, so he's got the Slugma right here. Oh, it's Quagsire. Who's got the Slugma? I'm so confused. So Quaxire is probably not going to be that fun to catch. She's probably going to be pretty difficult. I'm going to double up on Psyduck and just get it out of the way, I think. One less thing to worry about at the moment. I think Bite should KO it. Okay, so that's that. Quaxire is slow, but I think it does no Surf. Amnesia raises your special defense. Tough. Alright, um, I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for Bite. And reflect. Yeah, he has Surf. Oh, that crit hurt. I am going to double into him right here, though. And then we can always swap out from a Ganium. Come on, flinch. Come on, flinch. Tough, okay. 15 19 even with a crit we're still safe like we're not in crit range so I'm just gonna hit him again no crits can I get a flinch this time please Empty 
Asia. That's perfect. Okay. Um, now let's swap out. I don't want to go for another. I guess I could. No, I'm going to go for a great ball. And we're going to swap Espeon out and send in Bayleaf. Reflect up. Okay, I'm gonna switch out Umbreon. I think. Uh, come on. Get in the Pokeball. Ball, get in the ball, get in the ball, get in the ball. Come on. That's not good. Actually, just gonna call Bayleaf. I don't want to attack or anything. One, two, three. Let's go. We got Quacksire, baby. Bum bum. really good. Alright. Okay. I'm actually gonna swap out a Pokemon to I think I'm gonna swap Flaffy out for Quacksire. Just like so. Oh, I need to say it. Seven for seven on snag Pokemon. That's pretty good. This could have the Slugma. You just call me little boy. I'll beat your ass. <laughs> Azurul is cute. Okay, Slugma does not have a lot of defenses at all, so we gotta be careful here. 
I'm gonna bite Slugma and Confusion Azuril. I think Azuril can like splash maybe in Tail Whip. <laughs> yeah, that did too much. It's flamethrower. Yo, that's legit though. Ouch. <laughs> Definitely gonna go for a great ball here, and I'm swapping out into Quacksire to tank another flamethrower because you know it's gonna go in that slot. I think <laughs> if I don't catch the if I don't catch like, a cargo would actually be pretty dope. Nice rock fire. With flamethrower. Come on, Quacksire. Nice. <laughs> Bigly buff is so worthless. Or a little iggly buff. Pump pump. All right, so we got slugma. That's great. I can't wait till we can go to that one town and open the hearts to all these Pokemon. We're gonna have a Pretty nice thing. I think that's gonna do it for me tonight. It's like two in the morning, I think. 2.30 in the morning, so yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. But I uh, appreciate anybody who stopped out by the stream, and this VOD is probably gonna go on YouTube uh, sometime, so stay tuned for that. And watch out for my tweets when I go live next. Thank you all.